Hey, what's up? I'm Rachel Starr, schizophrenic. So, can I stop taking my meds? I get asked this all the time. First of all, I don't, I don't know you. I'm not your doctor. I don't know if you can stop taking your medications. <laughs> um, the other side to this is that a lot of times people come up to me and they tell me how bad medication is for you and that they tell me I should stop taking them. Here's the thing. If you need to take medication, that's okay. All right, I'd even say that's brave that you are working to make yourself, like manage your mental disorder, whether it's schizophrenia, depression, whatever it is. Like you are taking steps to like live a badass life. Like that's awesome. A lot of people are way too scared to ever get help. So taking medication doesn't make you weak, doesn't make you less of a person, all right? Um, yes, I'm currently on medication. I have been for quite a while. <laughs> if you're feeling better, should you stop taking your medication? Here's the thing, you're probably feeling better because of the medication. I hear people all the time be like, oh, well, I'm not hallucinating anymore, so I'm gonna start taking my antipsychotics. But like, maybe that's why you're not hallucinating. Maybe that's why your depression lifted. Maybe that's why you're not having delusions. Maybe that's why you're able to go back to work. I'm not saying it is, <laughs> but do keep that in mind. Believe me, it goes through my head like, every few months is I'm like, I don't need this anymore. And then usually that's when I like crash the next day and I'm like, just kidding, I totally do. Um, is medication like, you're gonna have to see some are gonna work better for you than others. And if something's not working or let's say the side effects are like so bad that what, how much it helps, but if it also hurts way more, then you probably need to switch medications. Talk to your doctor about that, be upfront. And if your doctor isn't listening, get a new doctor. Um, I've had to switch doctors a lot because honestly they were stupid or they just flat out didn't care and didn't listen to me. I actually got to uh, give part of a speech to a bunch of people like doctors who actually make medications like they make them and you know it's one thing I pushed was like you gotta understand so many of the side effects are so horrible okay like yeah if it stops me from hallucinating that's great but if it makes me sleep 20 hours a day how am I supposed to work how am I supposed to live a life okay like, I don't want to even be alive at that point. So yay, the medication worked, but it's not worth it. So before quitting any medication, you need to talk to your doctor, okay? And even be upfront, be like, hey, I hate taking medications. Can I lower my dosage? Can I maybe drop one of these over time and maybe change my diet, exercise differently, do medication, do therapy, like whatever, like talk to them about it. Don't just go cold turkey. Keep in mind, there are lots of different medications that are out there, lots of different options. Um, don't just try one antidepressant, one antipsychotic, and be like, oh, none of them work. Okay, you might have to try multiple ones. Okay, and yes, keep track of the side effects. Keep track of how you're feeling. One really good thing to do is actually to like make a scale of one to 10 and just kind of start keeping track. How am I feeling today? So if one is, one is like, I'm about to commit suicide to 10 being great. Okay, meaning I am, I'm happy, no suicidal thoughts. Put yourself on there, be like, okay, one to 10, where am I at? Let's say I'm at a two today, all right? And track it, that way you can see. Because a lot of times, especially when we start feeling better, we forget what it was like before the medication, before the certain dosage. So track that kind of stuff to help you and your medical professionals with the tools that you need. I'm Rachel Starr, Schizophrenic. Thank you so much for watching.